Hello there, my name is Emmanuel George Emisa Jr. Call me Bobby, the arts journalist. You are welcome to a new exciting episode on Time with the Artist. Today's episode is about a solo exhibition that was held in Florida by a Ghanaian artist. Before we delve into that, let me take this opportunity to acknowledge my sponsors for this episode. Sweet Mickey Photography. For your weddings, birthday parties, birthday photo shoots, contact Sweet Mickey on 0574-910579-0574-910579. Also, Sweet Mickey's Kitchen is at IEBRC KNUST around the campus. If you are around KNUST and you need Banco and Tilapia, special Banco and Tilapia, call Sweet Mickey on 0574-910579. Also, Prof. Derek Ministries. If you need spiritual help, prayers, counseling, call Proveric Ministries on 0248-355767. 0248-355767. Now let's get into it. So as I mentioned earlier, today's episode is about a solo exhibition that was held in Florida by a Ghanaian artist. Benedicta Opukumensa. Dr. Opoku Menza is a Ghanaian artist who hails from Ejumaku Besiansi in the central region, but had her basic education in Kumase Good Shepherd RST School, feathered to St. Louis Senior High School, and then to Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, where she had uh, her first degree in Bachelor of Arts, specifically Integrated Rural Arts in Industry, popularly known as URI. Then now she's doing her master's in finance in the University of Florida. So before she had this solo exhibition, she has featured in a couple of exhibitions at the Historic Thomas Center, the Kate Museum, just to mention a few. And then somewhere last year, her artwork, Hope for Survivor, was featured in the I Like Your Artwork magazine. Benedicta uses many materials to produce her artworks, but mainly she uses wood. In her recent solo exhibition titled Plain Friends, Can I Call This Place Home? Can I Call This Place Home? Wow, interesting. Held as the foremost gallery, she scorched some words on wood to tell a story. And according to her, the story is about her art journey 
from Kumase through to the university, um, a lady doing arts, the, the perceptions about um, ladies who do arts and all those stuffs, to where she is now. Um, her career as an artist, now that she's doing full-time arts, I personally find the exhibition very interesting because um, this is a sculpture piece, but unlike many sculptures where they are um, representative sculptures or figurative sculptures, this one is more of a puzzle that has been dispersed. So each, each panel has a, a word or a sentence squashed on it and dispersed. So any viewer who comes into the gallery and relays to, to the, the works can tell the particular story the, the artist wants to give out. And that's very intelligent. And um, it, it has some, some sawdust spread on the ground with the panels lying on them. Many artists and art lovers came around or came through um, to the gallery to, to relate to the artwork or to have a feeling of what the artwork is about. After the exhibition, art piece, very interesting and inspiring, and wrote this piece about it. So the, the title of the exhibition is Plain Print, Can I Call This Place Home? So the, the poem is also titled, Can I Call This Place Home? Can I Call This Place Home? Where I, a woman, can forge with tools and shape my reality, unlike where I come from. Is this place my home? In the echoes of lather, compresses, saws, and sanders, my mind battles chaos, yet finds a battlefield of peace. With each creation a trophy, a step in self-discovery. Can I call this place home? Opportunities indifferent to my gender. An embrace warmer than any I've known. Can I call this place home? If comfort here turns me selfish. Do I forget the struggles of those others back home who faces the same troubles as I? Can I call this place home? And what about Ghana, where the battlefield was never mine to tread? Decisions etched before my birth. Can I call this place my own? If I call this place home, would it be treason to my roots? Future veiled, its secrets unknown. Can I call this place home? So basically, the exhibition is about self-discovery. Uh, discovering herself as an artist, um, going through all these processes from Ghana, uh, with the perceptions we have about ladies who do art, um, people's ideas, people's thoughts, people's perceptions, perspectives, and all that, through to where she is now, uh, the the struggles, the journey so far, uh, now that she's doing the art full time, can she call the art a home? Can she call Florida a home? That's how I understand it, but it's a question for all of us to answer. Stay tuned for the next episode of Time with the Artists. Um.